Prime Minister, thank you very much, first of all, for your presence, also for the tone that you have used. I'm going to try to follow your path and your example on the tone. Not always easy for me. <laughs> but uh, you and your party uh, won the elections, and you and your party got a strong mandate to lead your country. And we respect this, and we have to respect this. In fact, as a Liberal Democrat, I may not like all of your uh, policies, but that is not our policies, that's your responsibility. This is how it works in a real democracy. And based on your broad majority, it's your right to shape, to reshape the media landscape, to reform the civil service. I can tell you, I was Prime Minister, I did similar things myself. But that's not the point here. The point is, and what makes her concerned, what alarms most members here in the House, and what a Democrat never does, is, is then to use or abuse yet this huge majority to dismantle the checks and balances in the country. That doesn't happen. Because why? This is the core of European democracy. It's a system, this system of check and balances makes it possible to enact laws when these laws are in contradiction with the Polish Constitution. And I think that the legislation on the Constitutional Tribunal, which your majority rushed through the Parliament, I think it was on Christmas Day, does exactly this. It eliminates, it paralyzes, in fact, the Constitutional Court. And I have to tell you, that was not announced in the manifesto of your party before the elections. And it is not, I'm going to be very precise to you, it's not the composition or the nominations, Mr. Kamal, will make the problem. It's not the quorum that you have increased with the problem. It's not the two-third majority that you impose that is the problem. It's not even the enforced chronological order of cases that is now introduced as a new rule. Some of the member states, you said it yourself, have also some of these rules but they don't have them all together. And that's precisely the point. It's the combination of all four elements that definitely paralyze the courts and make it impossible to do their work. And I tell you very clear, it is fair enough, Mr. Kamal, that the Polish government rectified the mistake made by the previous majority. But you don't do that, you don't rectify it, by paralyzing then this constitutional court. And I think, I think really also in your tone that you feel yourself there is a problem. I feel it in your voice. And that is the reason also why you follow the advice of Mr. Timbermans to ask for the opinion, what's a good thing, of the Venice Commission. But let me say one thing. It should be a very bad thing if we bring Poland eastwards to another system. It's true, I, I, I have once used, Mr. Kamal, uh, uh, the word Putin. And I know that Mr. Kaczynski does not like uh, Putin and Russia, neither I am on the blacklist. He not, but I am. So, but with these policies, Mr. Kaczynski, I have said, helps Mr. Putin, because the inconvenient truth here is that Mr. Putin doesn't like European unity. He wants, in fact, he has an obsession. He wants to destroy the European unity and what's happening in Poland yeah, that could help him in his course. Never forget, never forget, Mr. Prime, Minister, Mr. Prime Minister, history has proved that Polish unity and strength go hand in hand with European unity and strength and vice versa. But I have, in fact, no doubt. I have faith. I think there is no problem because there are the Polish people and the Polish citizens. What I have seen and knowing the Polish people, the Polish people gave rise to Solidarnosc. They fought against repression, they fought for their freedom, for democracy, for the freedom and of religion, the rule of law. All this they did. Well, I know that the Polish people shall never accept to give up their democracy. And so my plea to you, Prime Minister, my plea to you, Prime Minister, is I would like to encourage you not so much to listen to me, or to us, listen to the majority of your own citizens who want to, in the future, that their country stays in this world community 
of democracies. Thank you very much.